receive the end of this month. Lift up your hand and declare after me. I declare in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, the month of May 2020 will not see my end, but I will see the end of the month of May, year 2020, in the name of Jesus. Therefore, every evil arrangement of the enemy to waste or frustrate my life in this mood, I stand in the house of the Lord and I declare that arrangement is frustrated, is cancelled in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, let me hear you aloud, amen. For who we see that we speak and it comes to be, when the Lord has not commanded it, anything the Lord did not command concerning you this month, I declare that evil shall not stand, shall not stand, shall not stand. For the Lord God is the one that brings the cancers of the wicked to naught and make the devices of the hidden of no effect. I lift up my hand and speak concerning you. Every counsel of the hidden, every counsel of the wicked against you and your family at this mood, by the hand of the Lord, they are brought to naught. They are made of no effect. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you believe it, let me hear your amen. amen. Sit down. This is the fifth month of the year. The number five speaks of grace. One more time this month. You will enjoy the abounding and abiding grace of the Lord. The grace of the Lord shall be enlarged concerning you. Grace will speak for you. Grace will define you. Grace will determine you. You will find grace before God. You will find grace before men. You will find grace before those above you. You will find grace before those at your level. You will find grace before those below you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak over your life this month. Your voice shall manifest grace. Your appearance shall manifest grace. The work of your hand shall manifest grace. Every step you take, men shall see grace. Every assignment in your hand, the grace shall show up. Like Zerubbabel was told, Who art thou, O great mountain? Before Zerubbabel, you will become a level ground. And he shall go forth with shoutings, crying grace and grace, and bring forth the capstone. Every assignment in your hand, by grace, you will finish them. You will finish well. In the name of Jesus, stretch your hand to the altar. You will not fall into any trap of the enemy. You will not be taken in any net. You will not fall into any pit. The Lord shall deliver you from the snares of the fowler. He will deliver you from the noisome pestilence. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare concerning you and your family, violence shall be far from you. Accident shall be far from you. Domestic accident, vehicular accident, all manner of painful accidents, I declare they shall be far from you. Electrocution shall be far from you. Fire incidents shall be far from you. Professional hazards shall be far from you. You will walk in peace, for thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you. By grace, your mind will stay on the Lord. By grace, you will walk in peace. By grace, you will flourish in peace. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare over your life, what your strength cannot get, grace will get it for you. In place of your weakness, grace will show up. In place of thorns and thistles, grace will show up. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive wisdom. 
receive understanding to always be associated with the throne of grace that you might obtain mercy and find grace to help at every hour of need lift up your hand and declare after me i declare in the name of jesus the son of the living god every hour of need in my life all through this month and beyond i declare abundance of mercy and grace from the throne of god shall answer to that hour in the mighty name of jesus christ if you believe it let me hear your amen there shall be no hour of need in your life that grace shall be found lacking there shall be no hour of need in your life that you'll be wondering what happened to the grace of god grace will abound for you in the mighty name of jesus christ let me hear you loud amen according to the hebrew calendar this is the second month cedar of their religious calendar the month of Iya, i y a r this month the tribe associated with it is the tribe of Isaac. Bible says that the children of Isaac have an understanding of the times and the seasons. They know what Israel ought to do at every point in time. They have access to the knowledge of the secret calendar, the heavenly calendar for the children of Israel. In the spirit realm they have the ability to assess them to understand them and to use them now a great deal of the wise men from israel most of the Sanhedrin members we are and are members people from the tribe of isaac in the name of jesus the son of the living god you will not walk in ignorance they have an understanding of the times and seasons and what israel ought to do for everything under the sun there is a time there is a time for every purpose in the name of jesus the son of the living god every divine counsel of promotion and lifting meant for you this month you will not miss it I declare you will not miss it i declare you will not miss it lift up your hand and declare to me i declare in the name of jesus the son of the living god i will not miss any season of favor and promotion in my life all through this month in the mighty name of jesus if you believe it let me hear you loud amen gate of this month is the gate of revelation now notice the secret things of the lord are made known to us only by revelation the understanding of the deep things of god are possible only by revelation you, 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 you notice when Jesus said thou art Jesus the son of the living God what, what did Jesus tell him Jesus told him Peter flesh and blood did not reveal this to you but my father in heaven I was supposed to say the gospel I preach I received by revelation from Jesus Jesus in one instance worshiped the Father and said, Thou hast hidden these things from the wise men and revealed it to babies. When God gives you grace of enjoying the revelation of secret things, that gift and grace will recommend you before kings. Kings, rulers will seek to hear your voice leaders in any field or place you are will always want to hear your voice 
because there will be wisdom revelation of deep things that will be uttered by you when nebuchadnezzar was confused about the dream he had how did the answer came the secrets of that dream we are given to daniel by revelation and when daniel declared them what happened the king decorated him with a chain of gold and gave him promotion now brethren i want you to understand we are going to number one this good by the mercies of god you will have access to the secrets of the lord grace to fear god is your portion grace to walk in holiness is your portion and now when you walk in the fear and in the word of the lord having received that grace you are qualified to the secrets of the lord for the secrets of the lord belong to those that fear him for god cannot do anything great or small in the land except he reveals them to his servants the prophets now when you have the privilege of divine revelation coming your way you will be able to be relevant in the land where you are the grace of revelation makes you relevant did you hear that the grace of revelation makes you relevant in your generation when you are denied the revelation of the deep things of god you become ordinary but when you are given the privilege of the revelation of the deep things of god you become very relevant now i am talking of access to the deep things of the lord to the secret things in the spirit realm i'm talking of the grace of revelation that you will enjoy this mood not just for the sake of enjoying them but you will enjoy them in such a manner that kings will put chains of gold on your neck promotion will come your way church did you hear what i said how many want that grace lift up your hand and declare after me i declare in the name of jesus the son of the living god i receive the grace of revelation assessing the deep things of god in my generation i receive the grace of the revelation of the things that have to do with my family with my generation in the name of jesus christ i shall become a consultant unto kings unto rulers who desire to know the secret things concerning the generation we are in in the mighty name of jesus let me hear your amen stretch your hand to the altar every satanic scheming to deny you the blessings of the grace of revelation I destroy that schemes in the name of Jesus every oppression of darkness that will make rulers great men seek counsel at your mouth consult with you but at the end of the day they give you no promotion they do no good thing to you I stop that bondage I stop that experience it shall no more exist in your life in the name of jesus christ every attempt of the enemy to cover your virtues to cover the grace of revelation you have with a blanket so that you will not even be noticed you will not even be consulted let alone being blessed i command that blanket to catch fire to catch fire to catch fire to catch fire, fire in the name of jesus christ all the people in the house this morning who are ordained of god to have contact with kings and rulers and to be a blessing to them and to be blessed by them i stand on this altar i declare every strategy of the enemy to frustrate this is frustrated now is terminated now 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive revelation. Receive understanding into the deep things of your profession, into the deep things of your business to excel above others. Receive the grace of revelation that will recommend you to kings and that will bring honor and blessings to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I stand on this altar and I declare every day of this month, every night of this month shall speak glory into your life. Every voice arranged to speak destruction, frustration, losses in your life. I command the voice to stop in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. From the bosom of my heart, I bless you. I bless your going out. I bless your coming in. I bless the work of your hands. You shall excel. You shall flourish. No evil shall befall you. You will not run losses. The enemy will not overtake you. The haters of your soul will not swallow you. You will flourish more than other months of the year that have come and gone. You will end this month rejoicing. You will end this month with celebration. Goodness and mercy shall overtake you. The Lord will show you kindness. Your enemy shall show you kindness. You will end this month with joy in your mouth. You are blessed of the Lord. And no one can reverse it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And let the house of the faith say. Lift up that hand and give him praise. Give him honor.